I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. God versus Satan. That's the subject of the today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your Christian faith from places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Lutheran pastor and his under the desk Jack Russell Terrier, go ahead and like and subscribe our videos today. You can go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation keeps us a-rolling. Michaelmas yesterday, uh, the celebrate of, uh, celebration of St. Michael and all angels, the heavenly hosts. Uh, we're in the fourth quarter of the church year. It's, it's uh, a little bit more and we'll be out of the green season. Thank God. Uh, gives us the Revelation uh, text. Revelation 12, now arose in heaven war, 12-7. Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, and he was defeated, and there no longer was any place for them in heaven. So they go back at it, and it's better than any Marvel or Avengers movie. God and his heavenly host versus Satan and his demons one on one and they go to they go at it and it doesn't take three movies to do but before the dramatic movie music is even begins the, the battle's over because that is how it is between when God and Satan fight we're we're used to thinking that that when God and Satan go at it it's sort of like a uh, a football game where where the lead changes back and forth and you don't know who's going to win and oh my goodness but no, it's not really like that. A war that takes a verse to finish. Um, God runs such circles around Satan that Satan unwittingly is turned out to help God rather than to hurt God. Um, and look at all the examples of it. Joseph and his brothers. His brothers throw him down a well. They want him dead. But God uses that in order to get Joseph to Egypt. Um, uh, Judas, the, the devil enters into Judas and uh, he betrays his Lord and God uses that to save all of mankind. Um, I mean, God truly does, as St. Paul says, work all things out for our good. And so we need to sort of think about when bad things happen to us and we're knee jerking and we're blaming the devil for all that's bad in our life that... Um, yeah, sometimes bad in our life comes from sin. That's our fault and our fault alone. Um, but sometimes bad stuff in our life happens as a gift from God so that to, to, to sort of move us closer to him. God can take even the evil that we do or the evil that's done to earth, us and work good from that. Now, that's not to say that let's go, go, go and do evil because that's helping God. That's, that's, such, that's just foolishness. Um, what I'm talking about is God uses all the things that we, 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 the both the good that happens, the bad that happens, the good we do, and the bad that's done to us or that we do, um, after forgiving it, he uses it for our good. Um, and I'm not saying that God is a party to evil. That's just absurd. It's that God so owns evil that it's used for good. Um, and, and using what the Lord has saved you from as an example for others can actually be a gift. You, uh, the Lord rescues you from all sorts of sins and you look at your neighbor's sins and you go, oh, they're not that, and they're not that important because God has rescued me from far worse. Or um, uh, they keep you humble. They keep you from sort of judging others. And so the idea that just because somebody makes reference to their sin, that they're reveling in their sin is just short-sighted. Um, God rules everything, which means that even the evil that happens in the world, he can make good. But the only way that we see the good that he does is by faith. We Instead of looking at ourselves, instead of looking at what's happening, instead of looking at... Um, um, oh, you just got cancer? Well, God's going to work this out for good. Instead of looking at the bad that's happened to us, we look to Christ. And we see that God must be doing good. Because everything he's done in all of creation was, was done in order to send his son to save us. This is the difference between looking at things by means of faith and some sort of Manichaean, um, uh, 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 neoplatonic view of God where there's God, there's good, and then there's bad, and uh, never the two shall meet. 
um, there is good, and that's God, and there is evil, that's Satan, and us, and, and the world, uh, but God is such a good God that he even uses our failures in order to, to um, work good. Um, and here, it's also important to remember that the devil is a real entity. Um, the greatest deceiving that he's done is to convince people that he doesn't exist. Um, but he's not a problem for you. While he roams around the earth looking for someone to devour, looking to devour you, his devouring you is not only about causing you to commit this sin or that sin, but causing you to think that you can somehow fix what you have done by some change within you. Some, so I can make this better, I can get better, I can do better. And that directs your eyes off of Jesus and back to you. And so um, the God who saves, the God who works all things out in Christ for good is the God who, um, who when we sin, repents us, calls us out of our sin with his word, with his law, uh, slaying us with his law so that he might enliven us with his gospel. Um, and that doesn't mean let's go sin so that we can do good, the, the will of God. That's absurd. It means that when Christ saves us, if we are found to be sinners, Christ is not a servant of sin. We are, uh, says St. Paul. So that, so that the, but, but God is not powerless to make good out of the evil that we've done. Uh, he's quite powerful. Um, and, the, and we don't, this is not just a mantra to sort of get through the bad times. This is faith, which looks to Christ and looks to the cross as the only way that we know about God. I may not know how this is going to work out. I may, know, may not know how this is going to turn out good. But I do know in Jesus, he makes all things new, even me. God versus Satan. It's, it's over before it even begins. Michael, whose name means um, who is like God, tosses the devil and all his angels out of heaven. Um, silencing the horn ending the accusation from the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh, and bringing us, huh, bringing us salvation. No more accusations from the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh. That's really what the Lord silences. He doesn't just make evil good. He also ends any talk of the evil that we've done before God. So we don't have to worry about standing before God, worried that God's going to toss us into hell. Now, the devil was designed for the the, the, I'm sorry, hell was designed for the devil and his angels. He's tossed the devil there. God has. Um, we get salvation and life and all good from the throne. Um, Michaelmas, a merry belated Michaelmas to you as your eyes are on Jesus and the war that he does saving you. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short. Sure.